Could you tell us your name, your age, and which country do you represent here? Uh, my name is uh, Alexander Ipadov. I'm 21 years old, and I'm playing for Turkey, but I'm Ukrainian. Okay, let's let's explain that. So, where were you born? I was born in, in Lviv, in the western part of Ukraine. And where do you live now? I'm living in Ukraine still, in Lviv. Right, so, uh, but you're representing Turkey. Now, could you tell us how that took place? Uh, well, I was uh, invited by Ali Nihat Yazici, the, the former uh, Turkish Chess Federation president and the uh, current uh, FIDE vice president. Uh, I uh, accepted his offer. He put me in condition to learn Turkish. I learned Turkish, but I still kept living in Ukraine because uh, two years ago my father died and I still cannot move so easily without my mother. So that's uh, because of family problems, not because I don't want to. I love Turkey and I am very often there. I'm going to Turkey after this tournament and very much connected with Turkey these days. And is your role there not just to play for the team but as a kind of trainer there too? Uh, well, uh, our coach is also Ukrainian actually. But he, he, he moved to Turkey because of problems in Ukraine, because he was living in the eastern part of Ukraine. And as you know, Russia attacked Ukraine, that's it. But I'm working with him on Skype. But I'm not training in Turkey and specifically. We have some, sometimes we have training come there. That's it. Could you tell us who taught you chess and at what age did you learn the rules of chess? My father taught me how to move chess pieces when I was four years old. So it was in 1997 and uh, when I was six years old, so it, in October 1999, my mother brought me to the local chess club in Lviv. So since when, then my career actually started. And as I recall, Lviv has a great chess culture. That's it. Also, Adrian Michalcician, the coach of uh, Turkish women team, he's from Lviv, uh, Vasily Ivanchuk, uh, Alexander Belavsky, a lot of chess players. Romanishin? Roman, uh, Oleg Romanishin as well. <laughs> a lot of players. Okay, Yuri Krivoruchko. I mean, dozens of grandmasters. Yes. And when you were growing up, apart from those players, did you have a, a chess hero? Was there a player that you really looked up to from chess history? Uh, my favorite chess player, I think, is Alexander Alokhin, the former, the first world champion who died unbeaten. Yes, I like him for his style because he's, he was a universal player. He was uh, doing everything. Uh, he was playing end game great. He was attacking great. I mean, that's it. Also, I, I, I liked uh, Bobby Fischer for his um, because he was different than others. That's what's what's the greatest success you've had so far in chess? Uh, I think uh, winning the World Junior Championship in 2012 in Athens, that was two years ago. Last year I didn't manage to keep uh, my success, I finished only second after Yu Yang from China. So. And do you have a, a particular game of yours that you've played that is memorable? One in particular? I think that was a game from that World Junior Championship against uh, my teammate in Bundesliga against uh, Nils Grandelius who is a very um, tactical player, very combinative, so that was a crazy game and I managed to smash him with my central pawns. So that, that's the game. How are you getting on in the Olympiad here? Uh, sorry? How are you doing in the Olympiad here? Uh, I'm plus two, but I'm playing uh, the reserve board. I asked my coach to put me on the reserve board just to try to get points. I was going plus three, but yesterday I lost, so today I have a deserved uh, rest day. So that's it. And outside chess, what interests do you pursue? Do you study? Do you work? What, what's, what's your current status? Are you a professional chess player? Uh, actually, I'm a professional chess player, but I've uh, finished my bachelor's degree in April in law. And I, love, I like learning languages. I can speak five languages right now. I, li I, li I like to read uh, biographies, biographies of great people, um, also business literature, marketing, and I don't think I'll be a professional chess player. I would like to connect my future with business, with uh, maybe politics, yes. Politics? In which country? Uh, I don't know yet. I mean, I'm just trying to work on my self-education and to, to stay flexible. This is what's important in modern life, I think, to be flexible. And finally, yeah. if you were able to vote in the presidential election here, who would you vote for, Gary or Kirzan? I know who would win. And uh, I would vote uh, for Kirsten. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Is, is that because you think he's going to win? Uh, first of all, I know that he will win. That's 100% sure. And uh, um, I have many friends in his, uh, in his office. That's why it's, it's personal. That's it, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.